Hello everyone, welcome back. First of all, I'm really sorry for not uploading a video for this long. Actually, I was out of town and I went to meet my friends in a different city. So yeah, it was kind of a post-meet reward for my parents and it was a lot of fun. So today's video is about the books and materials I used during my knee preparation and the questions which I practiced from where did I practice from. So let's start. First is physics. Uh, I used to solve uh, modules. I had Akash coaching module. So I used to solve them for each and every chapter. And along with it, I used to solve BC Pandey's few chapters. You can choose any book of your choice. Like do solve coaching modules. Other than that, you can choose a book of your choice, either DC Pandey or any book that you find uh, more suitable for you, be it er errorless, though I haven't solved it, so I can't say what type of questions it has. But if you find it comfortable enough, then you can go forward with it. And you need to solve many test papers in physics. Uh, like the test series you are giving, that's okay. You need to give that uh, in three hours only. But um, take out question papers from other coaching institutes and solve it as a practice uh, for physics questions. Solve it as in a practice. So you will have uh, different types of questions because different test papers have questions of different types. They are not monotonous. So you will have an idea about different types of questions through question paper practice. Also about ARS question bank, Arunath Singh Ames Delhi. Uh, I bought it from Neat Prep and I think it's a good uh, question bank. I solved it in few chapters. Like I did it uh, in volume 1st of class 11th and last volume of class 12th. So yeah, actually I practiced from different uh, books. Like I didn't choose one book and go with it. Though you have to do that only. Um, I solved few chapters from DC Pandey and few from Arunath Singh Question Bank but I did solve the coaching modules for each and every chapters and question papers. Now for chemistry, uh, so we all know uh, that in chemistry questions are asked mostly from NCRT. So you don't need to go much higher in books that give you much uh, J advanced or J names type of problems. So I'll take it um, subject wise like physical, inorganic and organic. So first for physical, for physical, I think you should practice only coaching modules and the test papers that you give. I think that's enough because in physical, not much advanced problems are given in NEET. And so coaching modules and test papers would be more than enough. For inorganic chemistry, honestly, I didn't do any questions in inorganic chemistry. I just revised NCRT a lot of times. And I did do NCRT questions like the back exercises and the in-text one because there are some questions that are not given in the textbook. For example, in hydrogen chapter, I think there's a question in back exercise that why do uh, aluminium with uh, sodium hydroxide is used to open drains. So um, if in any question it's asked what is used to open the drains and they'll give you an option like zinc with sodium hydroxide, magnesium with sodium hydroxide and aluminium with sodium hydroxide. If you would have solved those back exercises, you would know that it's aluminium. So do solve the back exercises and the in-text questions in the NCRT for inorganic chemistry. And honestly, inorganic chemistry, you just need to keep it. You just point to remember every point. Now, as for organic chemistry, I do know that in NEAT, questions are asked only from NCRT. But I think you should practice few questions in organic chemistry too because organic chemistry is conceptual and solving questions will boost your confidence and if any question from out of nowhere comes in your test you will handle it because you have practiced many questions i practiced ms johan for neat and aims not for itj for neat and aims uh, that was very helpful because it built my concepts and after solving that i wasn't scared of organic chemistry anymore it was like uh, i could solve any question or it's just say I had that confidence that if I apply some mind there, I would get the answer. So yeah, you should solve a book. I solved MS Johan and coaching modules and obviously the test papers that I gave. So that was it for organic chemistry. Also in organic chemistry, do solve NCRT back exercises and index questions too because sometimes direct questions are asked from that. So please don't leave them. Obviously it will save you much time if you know them beforehand. Last but not the least, for biology, I think it depends on an individual. 
because there are some students who revise uh, NCRT time to time and they don't need much question practice but for some students uh, their marks are boosted up by question practice only so for those of you who like to practice questions in biology I think NCRT fingertips are enough but also uh, ARS question bank that is very good I think uh, it has a very detailed format of questions each and every line and everything so if you have time you should do it because I think one chapter has 300 questions at least in that so if you have time go for it go for it uh, if you want a detailed uh, concepts and everything so yeah if you want to practice uh, biology questions you can either do it from NCRT fingertips or ARS question bank if you have much time and also NCRT back exercises don't forget them at all now many of you ask about NCRT exemplar for all the three subjects I suggest you should do NCRT exemplar for all the three subjects and especially that MCQ part because um, it's a very conceptual book and obviously it's published from NCRT so maybe uh, sometimes you can get a direct question from it in NEET also the questions there are out of NCRT too so it might happen that out of NCRT questions come from that only though that's not necessary but yes it can so I do suggest solve them and for physics it's really good I think the questions that they have given are of different types and it will help you understand the concepts much better so yes that was it for the video and one important thing that don't uh, wander about many books like uh, in physics if you're solving DC Pandey then stick with DC Pandey don't think I'll do errorless also or I'll do singage also it won't help because uh, at the end if you do one book many times that will help more than doing many books a single time so yes stick to one book if you're taking ARS question bank that is also very good in all the three subjects go with that only but don't wonder about many books you will get confused only and nothing else also be consistent in solving questions solve questions every day and for freshers I think you have a lot of time in your hands don't rush in solving questions first complete the chapter understand its concepts very nicely and then start the question practice and as for droppers I think you should do question practice every day that will help you correct your loopholes in your preparation so thank you for watching.